Bamboozled again. You thought this was going to be a wholesome journey of self-discovery and growth in the world of boxing, capturing the heart of a boxer like Manny Pacquiao? Nope. Welcome to the dark underworld of money lending where small business owners are conned into borrowing money from the most dangerous loan sharks that exist. And if you miss a payment, the consequences are fatal. The story mainly revolves around best friends Gunwoo and Woojin who become embroiled inside the dark underworld of Smile Capital and its shady business. The drama is full of heart pounding moments that will leave you in awe from all out brawls to intricate knife duels. Here's our top 10 most insane moments of Bloodhounds. What's up Sunday fams? This is Flip and Element on another episode of Watching Sundays, where we get together each and every week to catch up to our favorite Asian dramas as well as K-pop reactions. If you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. Number 10, Double Dragon. After the horrible conclusion of Myung Gil's devastating attack on Mr. Choi's group, we rejoin Woo Jin and Gun Woo living with Mr. Oh. But they haven't forgotten nor should they. They resume training, moved up in weight classes, and are stronger than ever. They convince Mr. O that their cause is righteous, even if it's suicidal. And this is when the turn tables. From this moment on, we knew that although the fight would be a tough one, there would be a fight to be had, and we love training montages. Number 9, 84 billion won. After successfully chasing down Myung Gil and putting him to bed before he's taken by Interpol in Vietnam, they find 84 billion won worth of gold bars. Min Boom asked Gun Woo and Woo Jin what they'd like to do with it. It was touching to see that they both wanted to keep the spirit of Mr. Choi alive by donating it to the cause of providing medical treatment to those in need. Of course, good deeds do not go unrewarded as Min Boom chooses to give them two bars each, worth one billion, to which he will cover with his own money. I guess this was the show's way of appeasing the corporate interests by including a corporate angel like Min Boom, eh? Number 8, Do Young is attacked. This was the start of a cascading effect in the mid-story climax. The team is formed and the plans are set to take out Myung Gil and Smile Capital. Myung Gil decides to take matters into his own hands and takes the fight to Choi and his knifers, and he goes for Dae-young first. What makes this even more tragic is that he had just become a father, and by the sound of Myung Gil's answer to Young Jun's question, the mother and child also lost their lives. As soon as this moment happened, we knew that Mr. Choi's group was about to take some heavy losses. Number 7, Mr. Choi's past. We get a glimpse of the past and find out how Mr. Choi ended up in a wheelchair. He himself used to be a loan shark and taught everything he knew to Myung Gil. But of course, after deciding to close the company, Myung Gil decides to steal his money and rise to power himself. It was a great display of just how formidable Mr. Choi was. While he does manage to give Myung Gil the scar on his face, Im Bom was the one to throw him out the window. Number 6, Work or Family. This one was intense in a different way. Perhaps a more humorous scene that provided a bit of comedy relief in what is overall a very dark and serious story, but when it comes to scaring someone to spill out some information, I guess all it really takes is to threaten to take out a man's family jewels. It was expertly executed using an arrow to help the thug use his own imagination. Number 5, Damin's Hail of Arrows. Damin's entrance into the drama is both refreshing and timely. At this point in the show, you needed a little sense of hope and perhaps a bit of humor. Her character created a dynamic that gave us something good to cheer on. When Mr. O gets kidnapped, she goes full on Katniss mode with her compound bow and starts raining down arrows on her enemies. It was certainly nice to see our boys getting some help from someone you'd least expect. Number 4, Gun Woo vs. In Boom, the rematch. After some time has passed since Mr. Choi's death, Gun Woo and Woo Jin's training has seen them reach their peak form, especially Gun Woo who's gotten even more jacked. When Mr. O gets kidnapped, Im Boom and his goons lure Gun Woo and Woo Jin into a trap where an all-out brawl ensues. This time around, Gun Woo shows us his newly improved skills and power as he stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Im Boom, knocking him out silly in the end. Number 3, Woo Jin's Operation. In a series of defeats and the loss of Yang Jung and Du Young, Myung Gil raids Mr. Choi's house with an army of thugs. In a brave effort to defend themselves, Woo Jin is fatally stabbed repeatedly in the process. In what might be the most emotionally charged sequence of the show, Gun Woo breaks down trying to save Wu Jin, who is on the brink of death in the operating room. At this point in the story, it seemed that all hope was lost after the death of Yang Jung, Du Yung, and Mr. Choi. This was certainly all it took for Hyun Ju to break down and flee to Rome. Number two. It's okay, I'll make this painless. It was only a matter of time before Myung Gil catches on to what Gun Woo and the group were doing. With all kinds of resources at his disposal, Myung Gil manages to find the group and begins to kill them off one by one. It was a hopeless situation where you'd hope something good would happen where Mr. Choi and Woo Jin would be rescued. In the final moments, Mr. Choi basically gets mauled by Im Bum and is greeted by Myung Gil's final gift. This scene was absolutely heartbreaking and something you never truly expect. And number one, 
sashimi. At this point of the story, I'm sure we all felt that anxiety that this might be our sushi chef's last dance. After enjoying a home-cooked meal at President Choi's home, he arrives at his restaurant with Myung Gil waiting for him. This fight might be one of the best choreographed knife fights we've seen to date. If it wasn't for Myung Gil's dirty tricks, it's a safe bet that Yang Jung could have won this duel. When we see a glimmer of hope in Yang Jung stabbing Myung Gil only to find out he's wearing stupid ass armor, that's frustrating. He takes out a longer blade to cut through and another glimmer of hope appears, but in the end, the odds were stacked in Myung Gil's favor. And that guys was our top 10 moments in Bloodhounds. If you guys have your own moments from the show that we missed, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Asian entertainment and K-pop reactions. Hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. As always, this is what we're watching this Sunday. We'll see you all in the next one.